nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in it, so where I can find myself. Hey there, Sagittarius. How are you? We're going to get started on your on your love reading. Sagittarius, let's begin by choosing a tarot deck, shall we? Let's use this one right here. This is called the Tarot for Empaths, Reiki, and Energy Healers. Oh, the Star Kiss deck. That's what it's called. And it is for empaths, Reiki, and energy healers. And for tarot readers, too. <laughs> All right. Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus in the sign of Sagittarius. What insight, foresight, guidance, revelations do we have for the sign of Sagittarius in their love life right now? Let's take a look. What's happening? What's going on there in your love life? Sagittarius. Let's see. Let's see. What's going on with Sagittarius in love? Ooh, okay. <sighs> Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus in love. All right, here we go. Oh, oh you are, there is, a, you are actively creating something right now with somebody. A relationship finds itself at a place right now where there's maybe a lot happening, no matter how new or how old the relationship is. I feel like these are exciting times because uh, there are important developments I'm hearing transpiring right now. You are giving your time and your attention, my dear Sagittarius. You, somebody else is really feeding, uh, nurturing this, this, thing that we have here, this relationship, this connection, something in it. The Empress, somebody could be getting pregnant too. Maybe somebody's pregnant. Maybe somebody wants to get pregnant. Maybe there is a mother here for some of you. We have the page of coins. Oh my God, look at how cute this is. L isn't that so cute? <laughs> This is the page of pentacles. All right, so Taurus, for some of you, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, doesn't have to be. These are energies that are coming out. So you see just that Taurus energy, that earth page of pentacles, it's just really uh, invested. Like I'm really invested into this, isn't he? This page of pentacles. Oh, he's serious. He's, he's dressed, he's dressed for, for the occasion. He's dressed for the job. I'm ready to do this. There is, uh, this says recognized opportunity. So for many of you, this is a relationship. This is a connection. There's something happening, okay, between you and another person. And you're both realizing uh, the opportunity in the present moment. You see value in, in investing into one another. And I, I feel like this is something quite serious. Or, or if we could say starting off, okay, starting to go in, it, it is going in that di direction where I feel um, that there is, uh, there's, a, a, there's a lot of value that the both of you perceive and, and see in, in, in one another. And uh, that really is getting, I, I feel like it's, 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 it's exciting. It is, it's exciting. We have the three of wands, notable growth. Okay, this was reversed. I feel like for a long time, for a select a few, for some time, maybe you didn't see the growth, okay? Either one of you, the both of you, just the relationship, the connection, whatever we have going on here, maybe. Uh, it was a little slow, you know, uh, getting to this point. There's some unexpected setbacks that are occurring at this time, but that should not, uh, I'm hearing discourage you completely. I don't see you or somebody else really getting discouraged. Okay. Because look, I mean, this page of pentacles, 
I mean, they, they're, they're determined, they're, they're, they have their, they have their everything invested into this. So it's going to take more than just a, a little setback. It's going to take more than this that's happening right now to really deter me from this. I've already analyzed, do you know, uh, considered, reflected on this left and right. And it's something that I really want to, uh, like right now I heard, take a chance on. But it's not, I'm hearing, it's not really, it's not really a chance because it feels quite, uh, it feels quite safe and, and secure. Okay, so that's what we have going on right now. Unexpected setbacks, but who cares? I mean, that's what happens. You know, I'm hearing when you, when you are at, a, I'm hearing you are at a stage right now, my dear Sagittarius, a cross watcher where, you know, setbacks are just normal parts of, of this process where it is that you find yourself, right? We could say this one right here. You see how they're re they're real it's they're small and it's a page so it it talks about learning. It talks about the initiation of something steps uh, that have to be taken and I'm hearing in, and well again, little things here and there that might not necessarily go in the way that you expect it is to be expected. All right, let's see. Tell me more. Tell me more about what's going on here. Oh, my goodness. We have the Queen of Wands, confident ambition. And then we have the Two of Cups. Get out. So I feel like the feminine energy. Um, gosh. You know how a little while ago I said excited? Panther could be of significance. Yeah, that looks like a... Well, I can't really tell what cat it is, but it's a large cat, right? It's it could. I'm thinking about like a Black Panther. Queen of Wands, confident ambition. So I feel like the feminine feels, the feminine energy feels really good about what uh, we're seeing here. I feel like the masculine energy might, you know, there, there it feels like there's uh, a place that they're still having to get to because here we have a, like a, a masculine energy, right? That still seems like there is some growth there that needs to, um, happen or there's still something there that needs to unfold within or, or about the masculine energy perhaps in their life or something right maybe it's in connection to their career maybe this person finds themselves in a place in their career somewhere in life where you know they've experienced a lot of setbacks and they still feel like there's somewhere you know that they need to get to before I'm hearing this relationship, this connection can really, I'm hearing, you know, uh, take on that, that speed before it can really just start, uh, maybe begin to move, uh, more smoothly forward. Perfect partnership. I feel like the masculine energy feels like seeing the feminine energy as just being this vibrant, uh, being i'm hearing perfection i feel like there's a whole lot of chemistry between the both of you and it's getting quite fiery passionate here do you see that i mean look this feminine energy is uh what is i mean is that is that a portal i mean the it's a portal but but the water is on fire so it's steamy it's hot like think about that combination like fire and water especially the way that it looks here, it just looks very steamy. So um, I feel like there is a whole lot of uh, strong um, sexual energy emanating, I'm hearing from the feminine's ovaries. <laughs> but not just that, from the both of you, it's just like, it might even, it's like baby, 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 <laughs> like baby, <laughs> especially with this empress here. I mean, um, you might not be thinking about, you know, children. Children might not necessarily be a factor for some of you, but you you get here what I'm saying. It's just uh, there's a, a strong pull. 
And um, it almost feels like you guys, I mean, it, it doesn't feel, but the both of you are seeing each other as uh, just perfect. Like you're really enjoying, I'm hearing the idea, the, the, the connection, the exchanges here. And it just feels, it feels perfect. Maybe you feel like, gosh, the time is part, like the timing is great, right? Like these two people, they're out there. Maybe you've had dates with this person. Maybe not yet. What, what, whatever. Like here, some of you, these, these are dates. Dates that have, have already occurred. Maybe dates that are, you know, in the making. And these two people, like I'm just seeing two people sitting down. And uh, they're just enjoying each other's company and conversation. And I'm hearing they both look really good. So again, there's a very strong physical attraction between the both of you. I'm, just, I'm getting like, you guys look hot together. <sighs> Feminine energy as well with this like Black Panther that I'm seeing here is incredibly intuitive. Gives me like witchy vibes too. Like there's just something very sex. There's something just so alluring and sexy about this feminine energy that uh, feels almost explosive. <laughs> um, I'm also seeing uh, like the masculine energy being like incredibly ambitious, right? about their relationship goals. Like, I feel like this is a connection, like the masculine energy is seeing this. And I feel like they want to, not that they have to, but they feel like they, they, they want, they want to, like, there's this willingness to want to, um, be better, to grow, to level up. We could say, you see masculine energy, like, you know, like, this is what I want to do. I want, I want to, uh, meet, I have, certain goals for myself. So uh, the masculine energy is becoming uh, very interested, but it is, is uh, being driven here. Absolutely, they're, they're driven. The connection itself is, is uh, really pushing, uh, it's, it's making them push themselves a little harder and it doesn't feel bad. It's not like, oh my God, this is terrible. It's something that is actually, it's that the masculine energy is welcoming. So willingly, I'm hearing the, the masculine energy is doing this. And I feel like this is something that, you know, the feminine energy is, is seen and that is, uh, like it turns them on. It, I mean, hello, Queen of Wands. I feel like the feminine energy really wants to get physical. It really, and, and I feel like the masculine energy does too. But... But it's not, I mean, in, but it's not necessarily like a priority. And that's not a bad thing, guys, because I just feel like this masculine energy is so focused on, you know, maybe their relationship goals or just on themselves on, but but not in a bad way, in the way of like, I need, I need to be good or I need to be here so that I can be my best or my best for you. Commitment, relationships. Here it says traditional teachings. So, um, and so here we have a monk that's sitting down and it looks like they are, there's an open book here. And then we have this, the Hierophant. We could say this is the guru, like somebody that has something to teach. So the both of you are uh, learning a lot from each other. Maybe there's a lot of differences, maybe in beliefs because the Hierophant does talk about that. But, you know, most, I feel like they're, they're, but mostly what I'm seeing here with this hair font, especially with the way that is depicted, it feels like um, one of you, okay, is entering the other one's life. Like one of them, one of you has the role of a teacher. Do you see that? That is the teacher coming in like, I'm, I have this knowledge or I, I have this it might, it, it might, it just might be, um, I 
let's keep it at that traditional teachings let's see hair font you're learning a lot from one another you know when you meet somebody and the both of you might have different beliefs especially like in the spiritual community right uh and then you meet somebody that is not necessarily spiritual maybe they're religious or um you, you know there's just di there's diff there's difference in beliefs uh there or two lives uh that uh, different perspectives and, and and you know meeting somebody coming across somebody like that one i'm hearing you have to keep an open mind okay with the hair font because it could be really it could be easy to kind of become dogmatic a little bit um and close-minded with the hair font when it's reversed but it's not here it's I, it's it's upright so i i feel like the both of you are very uh there's this openness, but more so it feels like one might, you no, know, both of these people need to be open in order for there to be a healthy exchange here. But, you know, if we look into this card a little more deeply, this one right here, we could say is the one that's coming in. And this one, you know, they've been reading something already, taking in the these teachings here. And then here that comes this other one, which might, you know, believe in the same thing, but they might interpret things differently, we could say. All right. So here we have the magician manifested reward. I feel like there is, there's so much that is coming that is manifesting out of this situation, guys. And I feel like all of these, the things that are going to be developing and, and coming into reality are things that uh, the both of you have, have uh, that you, it's like, I feel like you guys really deserve this. And, and, and I feel like it's, it's the reality that the both of you are creating through the, the work and the energy it is that, you know, you guys have right now and what the both of you are doing. So I feel like the future looks very beautiful. I feel like you, the both of you can really expect to be really happy about the developments that, uh, you know, start unfolding and, and, and what's, you know, it's to come here in, in, in whatever we have here, beautiful energy. Tell me more. All right, let's put this over here. Maybe I should put these cards in. Yeah, let's put this in. All right, so what is next? What is, what is next? What can we leave my dear Sagittarius with? What is next? Something that we could leave Sagittarius with that they can look forward to as the weeks and months continue to move forward. Do you see this? This card wants to come out. It is the strength card, unquestioned confidence. Oh, I like this. Yeah, you see, what do we see? We saw the page of pentacles and we saw a really cute little boy and it looks like he's getting ready for work. But I did pick from that energy, I did, especially next to the queen of wands. I mean, the queen of wands is just such a radiant presence, okay? There's a lot of confidence. <laughs> emanating from the queen of wands okay <clears throat> and the masculine energy it did feel a little bit like the masculine energy is like um not a whole lot but i there's like an insecurity there i i did pick up did you feel that and more there might be a leo for some of you and look here we have somebody that you would maybe call uh disabled or um handicapped in some way but no they're not like they're not so i do see things uh transpiring and i do see the masculine energy gaining confidence okay in himself perhaps i'm hearing in 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 just exchanging and talking because we saw that hair font and obviously with that when we see the hair font we see that there will be like somebody entering your life like the both of you okay are um a, a, teaching each other to see the world differently, to understand things yourself or just everything in, 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 a, in a different way. So example, oh, before I thought that I needed this, but now in talking to you and getting to know you and, you know, uh, going through this, um, I see that there is this other way to see things, to take the, things in. And that there, okay, what, whatever is transpiring, 
is just going to give the masculine energy a tremendous boost in confidence, which I feel like is very much needed. <clears throat> Unquestionable confidence. And they're going, oh my God, look, they're going so fast. Like I really, I feel like, uh, because what as well, what do we see? The vibe that I got, it feels like the masculine energy really is, kind of taking things i don't want to say taking things slow but there's just this like t methodical approach there with that page of pentacles and it's a page and what does the page say it means that there's a lot of work to be done there's a lot of steps <laughs> there's a lot of steps here to climb still that's the energy of the masculine energy, but with the feminine energy was re is just ready. They're in flames. And I'm hearing, and you don't want to leave the feminine energy in flames because then it's going to burn out. I'm hearing, so you want to add to this fire, okay, right now while it's hot. <laughs> Unquestioned confidence. So you see, maybe the, the masculine energy just needs, uh, you know, to be reassured a, a little bit for sure. And well, I feel like he gets it. And, um, uh, I see momentum here. So this is what you can expect. We see five of wands, friction and conflict. Oh, great. What is this? Fighting? Fighting? Hey, well, you know, that's normal. That's normal in all relationships, isn't it? You know, it's funny. Just yesterday, I was thinking, like, you know, if I get, like, in my next relationship, like, I, I don't want to fight. Is that even possible? Like I'm at that point in my life where I feel like I have fought enough. I have, you know, had, I'm in my mid thirties and I'm single, but not too long ago, I was in a very long, long relationship. Point being, what I'm trying to say is I feel like I have already fought. It's, I feel like I have already fought enough and, and I just want a whole, I want a different uh, type of relationship. I want a high vibrational energy with somebody that is uh, a conscious being that is aware of themselves and their feelings and that it's not attacking me. So I guess it's like a, a person that is healed, right? Like I, I feel like I'm at a place where I've done a lot of work on myself and I've healed and I'm very self-aware and I, and I want somebody like that with me. And, um, well, I feel like that, okay, two people coming together who are healed and who are consciously aware will just create a very harmonious relationship. And I don't think anything is impossible. I, I do still believe in, 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 in love, but like, um, not the perfect love, but you know, some, something close to it. And, and for me at the very least, that looks like, um, Two people who are not trying to hurt each other, who are, you know, just who love on one another every day, who are respectful and loving to one another. And uh, especially if there's like children involved, like you don't want to traumatize your children. You know, we all are. The world is already, you know wounded as it is and you don't want to continue to pass on, you know, these traumas to your children. So um, anyways, that's just me talking there. Friction and conflict. So what's up with this? Let's see. Oh, no. And then we have the five of swords, guys. What is this? Ruthless win. Oh, friction and conflict. So this is like somebody that there's an argument and somebody just does not want. And I'm thinking about that hair font there. You know, that dynamic, there's a student, there's somebody sitting down, there's a monk, and then there's another one coming in. And the other one that's coming in, there's a really bright light, <laughs> you know, emanating around them. So uh, you could see how that could be a problem, right? You know, some difference in opinion. And that happens, especially if this is like at the beginning of a relationship, but let's get real. I mean, it happens, it could happen no matter how long you've been in a connection or relationship or knowing somebody, right? Uh, and this is like somebody that you get into an argument and then you just, re you just wanna have the last word. I wanna have the last word. Or I, you just need to feel like you um, won the argument, however that looks. And well, that just leaves very hard feelings behind because, uh, well, one, 
later on you you feel kind of sick about it and then you've hurt somebody else's feelings and gosh you know that's what i was talking about a little while ago like i just you know and, and and if i'm feeling this i feel like this is something it is that you want to like you just don't want any drama like i'm i feel like you're tired of of just the arguing the fighting that pettiness like of somebody who is stuck in ego and who is not willing uh, or even uh, able or and not even willing to like just rise above those things so let's continue so what about this? Look, is uh, for many of you is the masculine energy and they have the page of pentacles reverse. And I've been telling you guys uh, about this, um, disconnected goals. Okay. So here, you know, I, I truly do believe that, you know, most of the time people are not trying to hurt you. There's misunderstandings, for example, that happen, things that are going on in people's life that make them react a certain way. And uh, when, and it takes a conscious individual to be able to, you know, assess the situation and react responsibly, you know, from a place of love and not from a place of ego. And which that means being the bigger person, walking away from an argument, not needing, you know, the other person to do this or that in that moment, allowing the person some time to maybe reflect, you know. Um, and here I just see somebody that is incredibly frustrated because we saw it at the beginning. Okay, page of pentacles upright. Like this one has a plan, like, you know, and, and it feels like, ooh, they still have a, a road to travel and they might not even have like all their goals. Uh, um, they might not necessarily be completely clear necessarily. And um, well, I, I feel like here we have a masculine energy that um, one, the strength card, it tells me, look, this is, they, I feel like, oh, there's just so much frustration here, guys. So, if, you know, I feel like for many of you, this is something that you can expect. It looks like there is potential for a fight. Somebody might say something that doesn't come across the nicest way. And, um, I mean, the five of, five of swords says what is done is done. What was said is, was said. But you do have a, a, a choice. You can either, you know, feed, um, feed the chaos, the tension here, or, uh, you can, uh, uh or, oh, I'm here. Or you could react, uh, with, with love here and we'll continue. The strength card tells me that this person, like there's this desire to want to get to a certain place quickly. And then, you know, you see the leg here, like maybe feeling like maybe, you know, they have something working against them, but it's all an illusion. There's nothing, you know, there's, there's nothing here working against them. It might just be, again, a certain perspective it is that they have at the moment. And, um, there's this, even like this aggression here, you know, when somebody just becomes really like goal orientated and uh, they just kind of lose track of everything or sight of what's important, but not really what's important. Maybe that's going a little too far, but for some of you, yes. Um, and well, I feel like all of that, okay, is, is going to, you know, cause uh, tensions to, to rise. And then we saw the feminine energy on fire, okay, which uh, I feel like they, they, they're on, I'm hearing they're on fire right now. They're, they're highly passionate. They're excited. And, and well, that there guys, if there is not, if, if, the, if um, that is not channeled, okay, uh, properly, it, it can become aggressive as well. Okay. So that's what you can expect. Maybe a little fight, a little argument, something. Okay. Doesn't have to, it, it potentially, okay. Doesn't have to get that way, but I do see somebody maybe, I don't know, saying something, maybe don't take it wrong. Do you know that? I feel like somebody's under a whole lot of pressure. We have the moon shot. You see shadowed illusion. 
there is a need as well to again what did i say you know just as long as you are conscious and aware of always what's happening of other people's reactions and and always looking behind other people's reactions and why it is that they are reacting a certain way i'm hearing that you know most of the time okay especially in a relationship and a connection where the both of you are want to be together most of the time they do not want to hurt you it's just um uh, taken you know taken that way um the moon shadow illusion and here we have a feminine energy that has their eyes closed so um i feel like this here again there's like this 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 frustration and i feel like it doesn't have to do with with you i'm hearing it's just uh some something else and well seeing that feeling that could i mean just throw you in a loop i mean that might bring up for sure some fears some past traumas it might create illusions like okay it looks like they are doing this it looks like they want to hurt me or you know it, it looks like they did this on purpose or it looks like they're trying to uh provoke me you know um again and then what happens there things can get out of hand right so shadowed illusions, oh, you know, again, I'm just seeing that it's not seeing things clearly. Fears, past traumas, perhaps uh, coming forth and, you know, creating some uh, uncertainty, seeing things that, you know, aren't really there. So I, I see two people having to uh, work through some uh, individual individual stuff here okay so that's what you can expect in moving forward final 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 message we're at 30 minutes i gotta go gotta go gotta go gotta go final message final message something it is that my dear sagittarius should know we have death card necessary endings and then we have the nine of swords we live in past trauma okay this right here guys what's happening because it feels like both people are like you it's something's going to be triggered but it's, it's, it's not, uh, and you are going to see something a certain way. And then the other person is going to see something a certain way too. Now, this doesn't have to continue to go in the wrong direction. Again, if, as long as the both of you recognize those things. And again, there's going to be problems in every relationship. What's important is that you are able to work through them in a healthy way. Death card, necessary ending and relieving trauma. This, okay, what's going on there, it's going to bring up some old stuff, some trauma, some fears that's going to allow you guys to finally be able to confront that and bury that. I'm here deep down in the ground. So there's always something positive to take from every situation, no matter how negative it may be. Death card, necessary endings and nine of swords, reliving trauma. So I even feel like, uh, honestly, I feel like the masculine energy might ha get angry or something. And um, I feel like they're going to regret, both of you might or, or one might regret their reaction or what it is that they do. And it's, they're going to really that there that feeling that they're going to get it's going to feel like oh my god maybe there's no coming back from that because that's a five of swords uh oh i can't I, I messed up there's nothing i can do i can't take that back and there's this like sulking feeling of doom there like oh my god it's over i made a mistake or yeah and that is a, a reliving trauma there that's going to bring up old stuff and I'm hearing after that happens, it's almost like something needs to get cleared out, out the way. Something gets cleared out the way here. It, it and, and it happens in, you know, it, it has a strong impact reaction from the both of you. Um, but listen, it gives way to an, a, a clean slate, a new beginning. This is something that the both of you, it feels like you have to go through it and experience it. But again, the key here is to react, to catch it and react appropriately after. And I'll do it again, obviously. Uh, full, fearless, fearless beginning. And you see that's, I feel like that, okay, when, it, it's like something needs to hit the fan or it's going to hit, not that it needs to, it, it just happens that way, it hits the fan. And then after that, it just really clears the way for the both of you guys. And I feel like that is when the true manifesting really is going to begin. 
beautiful energy, guys. All right, so now let's get a closing message for you. Let's get it from the Romance Angels. I know that's like a super old deck, isn't it? But I like it. I like it. If you want to book a reading with me, you can do so by going to the link down below in the description box. It's going to take you to watchervoyagetarot.com where you could book a private reading with me, Sagittarius. All right, let's see. Closing message, closing message for Sagittarius. Sagittario. We have chemistry. Hello. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. I thought I told you. I thought I told you. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Yep. Oh, yes. Ooh. Religious factors, new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. For many of you, this is new love. Or it's just, it's reawakening of love for sure. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Religious factors, we saw that with the hair font. It says your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. You see, so, I mean, there might, again, when you meet somebody, like I've been watching the show on TV, uh, on Netflix. Um, I actually, I've been watching a lot of these shows, which is, it's not, you, you, it's not like me. Like I don't, this, I'm not usually into these shows. Um, like they're, one of them is called ultimatum and it's like, uh, all these couples get together and, uh, it, it, they bring all these couples together and something that these couples have in common is that one of them wants to get married and then the other one doesn't and there's an ultimatum that's given like okay marry me or not okay and they use they come into this experiment and they swap spouses and they live with the other person's spouse for some time and then they go back to their original partners and that's supposed to just kind of help them reflect okay like do do i not want this or do i you know and it, that okay and i'm bringing that up because um or there's even like this other show that i watch where you you fall in love by the voice like all these couples they they're they're talking to each other through a wall and you don't know what the other person looks like so you fall in love without seeing the person's physical and that's something that they want because the experiment is does true it does you know love at first sight exist or um or what is the experiment just like it's love true love really real can you fall in love with somebody without knowing what they look like and really love them? And something that I've seen from that show is that, you know, these people, because they're trying to get things moving very quickly. And that's something that I see for the both of you. I feel like the both of you are really ready to like embark on this journey or just get this moving. Um, and that's the energy that these people have, like these people, especially in that one show where you're talking to each other through a wall and you know what the other person looks like, you're like, you're ready to get married. You're ready to get this moving. You just have to find the right person to do it with. And I feel like that's what the both of you are doing. Like you're, it's like, okay, you're, you're like my person. Are you the right person you are? And it's like, yes, but there's some little things that you're having to get through. And something that I've seen in these shows is that there's difference in religion, for example. And for a lot of times that's not an issue. Like these people are like, no, that's not a problem or there might be different things careers or just the way it is that you know they have they just living together some people you know like their house a certain way they're very clean and then the other one's like really dirty and it's like having to work through those struggles um and i feel like that's where this religious beliefs comes comes in it doesn't have to be about religion but it could just be a difference of beliefs and having to adapt and change and expand okay and it just falls down to having an open mind guys wedding could be of significance this situation involves marriage and marriage is just it's it's commitment guys and uh it's it's a higher commitment it's it's a relationship that is evolving okay children your love life is being affected by children so children could be of significance did we see in the did we see the empress at the beginning of your reading i well i'm i think we did well i'm well i'm seeing it right now and uh maybe children could be a factor guys all right so let's put this back in Maybe this could have about, for a select a few could be about, you know, do you want children, do you want children? Things like that, okay? All right, so rebellion. Oh, oh, clearing. No more playing it safe. You're learning to care less about what others think and get in tune with your inner rebel. Time to discover your true authentic self while you reap the benefits. So rebellion, we definitely saw that. We saw that. Awakening, leap of faith. 
All right, it says, you will find yourself waking up to new awareness and deeper consciousness that will transform your life and allow your beautiful light to emerge. Leap of faith, deep down, you'll know the key to creating the life of your dreams is on the other side of fear. It won't be easy to take a leap into the unknown, but just remember the universe will catch you. I love that, leap of faith. Deep down, you'll know the key to creating the life of your dreams is on the other side of fear. It won't be easy to take a leap into the unknown, but just remember the universe will catch you. This is what I have for you, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. As always, truly, it was an honor and my pleasure. You guys take care, okay? Bye-bye.